Hey, this is Court Ryan here at Interbike. This is for electricbikereview.com, and I just saw this chip a bike feature, and I'm here with the founder. So, how are you? Doing pretty well. Can you tell us how this got started? Well, it got started, I actually had a bicycle stolen myself, and then I thought there'd probably be some way to recover it other than uh, you know, going and killing somebody. We don't want that. We don't want that. Way, you know? yeah. so, so, basically, started out with uh, an RFID chip. It's like goes, what you use for your dog, right? You know, yes, you similar your to it. Okay. Uh, it's a read-only chip, so it can't be changed to some other sort of identification number. And then quickly found that it's only uh, readable through carbon fiber. Hmm. So worked through some different things as far as uh, actually tagging the asset itself using QR codes. Okay. Uh, we're kind of happy to say that we're, we're the first people in North America to actually deploy what's called an SQRC code. Within the image, it's a little bit too much information, but yeah. within the image, the pixelation is arranged in a way that only with a program scanner can you read the rest of the information. There's a public amount of information, and then there's also private information. So basically, the code cannot be found in Interesting. So as we kind of moved up the, the, the chain of uh, having better ideas on how to track the assets, this is a cellular GPS device, uh, which enables the unit uh, to be tracked, electric uh, bike could be tracked. So within this, um, there's a GPS antenna, a cellular antenna, and then both a cellular modem and a GPS modem. Uh, we chose to use the SIM card so that we can use the native carrier for whatever country it's in so you're not charged in the roaming rates. Oh, that's handy. So the device itself, and, and obviously this is an electric bike, but it's able to be you know, placed inside the frame, uh, goes in, and then it becomes a permanent part of the application itself. So at that point, some, some of them need an external GPS antenna because GPS needs to see the sky in a sense. Yeah. So if it's cellular, uh, one of the things that we worked on real hard is called triangulation. Uh -huh. So if you get a hold of three different towers, you can get a pretty good big spot for that it. That warehouse somewhere over there. Yeah, somewhere. I mean, you can see it going in the door, but obviously if we use this as an example, we'd still have to do a little bit of searching. A bit of digging. Yeah. There are a lot of bikes here to search through. Yeah. So, I mean, we, what's been pretty interesting, we've had battery manufacturers come to us already and they'd like to place this device inside the battery. Oh, yeah. for electric bikes. Yeah. That makes sense. There you go. So it's no good without the battery. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. then we're able to draw from their power because you can see by the size of the device that half of it is a battery. Yeah, that's the black piece there. Yeah, that's the black piece there. Okay. So at that point, when we can go ahead and use the power from the battery, we've cut the device size in half. And then if we're able to put an antenna, with some manufacturers are actually talking about the GPS antenna could be part of the carbon fiber layout, and they would just give us a tether to be able to hook the device to. That's awesome. How about someone like me, I have an aluminum bike, but it's still expensive, I still don't want to lose it. Uh, do, you, do you sell direct to, to consumers don't. who can just tape an antenna on the outside of their bike? Or? So here, here, let me give you a good example. Okay. Let's say I stole your bike yeah. and I went online and bought all these devices. If we put our chip in and all those things, you'd have a hard time proving it's your bike. So what we chose to do is it goes completely through bike dealers. Okay. So there's somewhat a responsibility their part to actually track the asset that actually belongs to the person who's talking about it. Okay, okay. So, so buy a bike with yeah. this in it or yeah. live near a bike shop that can yeah. custom. And it, can, it doesn't necessarily have to be put in a brand new bike. All of this can be retrofit. So you go back to your dealer that you like and then we keep rebranding with every scan that we do. It rebrands the dealer. So what we used to say, you and I are out you know, on a ride and we like a particular bike, you scan it. Then we give you know, an image on the website, the phone application, where you actually go right back and you can see the dealer that's been bought. That's awesome. Can you give me some idea of uh, the aftermarket price of, of doing that? Yes. And then also maybe for dealers? like. Yeah. Like, so basically it starts out with every single item that they put together. We actually give them these labels to go on to start with. So once they turn you know, this into a membership, 
the retail price of that for a year of just basic asset management and things like that is the retail price is $19.95 and the dealer gets like roughly seven dollars of that. So it's it's really the, one of the first things that a dealer has is reoccurring income. Oh, cool. And then about 165, you know, I'm gonna jump up, 165 retail for this to be put in. Then they get obviously a percentage of this. And then there's also a cellular service that has to go with GPS because the only way you can track it is the GPS antenna receives the signal, gets that data, and then in turn, we need to use a cellular carrier to send that back home. Very cool. Okay, so is there a website where people can learn more about this? Chipabike.com. Chip a bike. Oh, chip a bike. Chip. Okay. Chip a bike. That's chip a bike. Chip a bike. You know, it's like, where the, are we shipping the bike? Yeah, I one of the things that's interesting, I got one of the, the emails I got that they had on there, the guy goes, Chip a bike? Yeah, they were like, that was good. You know? Chip, and like you chip, chip your dog. Yeah, or chip, you know, the little play on Poker games. chips. We have poker oh, chips. Oh, hey, here. yeah, I want one of those. So really, and it's yours. Lady yeah. luck. Yeah. So it's that. one of these if you come to the show, you know, these are available, you know, for a demo. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thanks yeah. for your time. I appreciate Pleasure it. Pleasure to meet you. All right.